Passion Travel is a channel specializing in all things travel street food and subscribe if you like the content. Atiaki. Fermented cassava couscous, typically served with grilled fish, chicken, or spicy sauces. Atiaki is a traditional Ivorian dish made from fermented cassava. It is a popular staple food in Ivory Coast and is widely enjoyed throughout West Africa. Atiaki has a unique texture and tangy flavor due to the fermentation process, which involves soaking and fermenting grated cassava. Here's how atiaki is typically prepared. Grating cassava. The process begins with peeling and grating cassava roots. The grated cassava is then left to soak in water for a period of time, usually around two to three days. During this time, natural fermentation occurs, which helps to soften the cassava and develop its distinctive taste. Draining and drying. After the fermentation period, the grated cassava is drained to remove excess water. It is then spread out on large flat surfaces, traditionally on woven mats or banana leaves, to dry in the sun. Sifting. Once dried, the fermented cassava is sifted to separate the finer grains from the coarser ones. Steaming or boiling. The finer grains of atiaki are then steamed or boiled until fully cooked. This process ensures that the atiaki becomes soft and fluffy. Atiaki is a versatile dish that can be enjoyed in various ways. It is commonly served as a side dish, similar to rice or couscous, accompanying various meat, fish, or vegetable stews. It also pairs well with grilled meats, fried fish, or spicy sauces. Additionally, a tiaki can be eaten on its own with some fried fish, tomatoes, onions, and a drizzle of spicy pepper sauce. This fermented cassava couscous is well-loved in Ivory Coast and neighboring countries due to its light and fluffy texture, as well as its slightly tangy taste. When visiting Ivory Coast or West Africa, trying a tiaki, braise, grilled or barbecued meat, often served with onions, tomatoes, and spicy marinades. Braise is a popular street food dish in Ivory Coast. It refers to grilled or barbecued meat, often served with onions, tomatoes, and a variety of spicy marinades or sauces. The name, braise, comes from the French word, braiser, which means to grill or braise meat. Here's how braise is typically prepared and enjoyed in Ivory Coast. Selection of meat. Various types of meat are used for braise, including beef, chicken, pork, and goat. Some popular cuts include skewered meat, brochettes, chicken wings, or beef ribs. Marinating the meat. The meat is marinated in a flavorful mixture of spices, herbs, and often a tangy sauce. The marinade can vary depending on the vendor's recipe, but it usually includes ingredients like garlic, ginger, onion, hot pepper, thyme, and other local spices. Grilling or barbecuing. The marinated meat is then grilled or barbecued over open flames, charcoal, or on a grill. The cooking process imparts a smoky and charred flavor to the meat, making it especially enticing. Serving. Once the meat is cooked to perfection, it is often served with sliced onions, tomatoes, and sometimes a spicy pepper sauce on the side. Some vendors may also offer additional sides like fried plantains or atiaki, fermented cassava couscous, to complement the dish. Braise is a popular street food item in Ivory Coast and is enjoyed by locals and visitors alike. It's often found at roadside stalls, markets, and gatherings, where the enticing aroma of grilled meat attracts hungry passers-by. The combination of the well-seasoned meat, smoky flavor, and spicy accompaniments makes braise a delightful and satisfying street food experience. If you have the opportunity to try braise in Ivory Coast, it's definitely worth indulging in this flavorful and aromatic dish. Alaco. Fried plantains, a popular and addictive street food snack. Alaco is a beloved and widely popular street food in Ivory Coast. It consists of fried plantains, which are sweet and ripe bananas, cut into bite-sized pieces and deep-fried until they become golden and crispy. Alaco is a delicious and addictive snack that is enjoyed by people of all ages. Here's how alaco is typically prepared. Selecting the plantains. Ripe plantains with yellow or black skins are selected for making alaco. The sweetness of the ripe plantains adds to the flavor of the dish. Peeling and cutting. The plantains are peeled and cut into small chunks or slices. They are often sliced diagonally, creating elongated pieces. Frying. The plantain pieces are then deep fried in hot oil until they turn golden brown and crispy. The frying process caramelizes the natural sugars in the plantains, enhancing their sweetness and creating a delightful crunch. Serving. Once fried, the alaco is usually drained to remove excess oil and then served hot. 
It is commonly presented in a paper or plastic bag for easy on-the-go consumption. Alaco is typically enjoyed on its own as a finger food or snack. However, it can also be served as a side dish alongside grilled or barbecued meat, chicken, or fish. Some vendors might offer various dipping sauces or condiments to accompany alaco, such as spicy chili sauce or mayonnaise. The combination of the sweet and crispy fried plantains makes alaco an irresistible and comforting treat that's perfect for satisfying cravings at any time of the day. When visiting Ivory Coast, sampling alaco is a must to experience the rich flavors of this delightful street food snack. Poisson Braise. Grilled fish, seasoned with spices and typically served with spicy sauces. Poisson Braise is another delicious street food dish commonly found in Ivory Coast. It translates to grilled fish in English. As the name suggests, Poisson Braise is all about grilled fish, which is typically seasoned with various spices and herbs before being cooked over an open flame or on a barbecue. Here's how Poisson Braise is typically prepared and enjoyed. Selecting the fish. Fresh fish is a crucial element in preparing Poisson Braise. Various types of fish can be used such as tilapia, sea bream, or mackerel, depending on availability and regional preferences. The fish is often cleaned and gutted before grilling. Marinating the fish. The fish is marinated with a flavorful mixture of spices, herbs, and sometimes a tangy sauce. The marinade can include ingredients like garlic, ginger, lemon or lime juice, thyme, hot pepper, and other local spices. The marinating process helps infuse the fish with delicious flavors. Grilling. The marinated fish is then grilled over hot coals or on a barbecue. The grilling process imparts a smoky and charred flavor to the fish, making it especially tasty. Serving. Once the fish is cooked to perfection, it is typically served hot and can be enjoyed on its own or with accompaniments such as fried plantains, atiaki, fermented cassava couscous, or spicy pepper sauce. Poisson braise is a favorite street food in Ivory Coast, particularly in coastal regions where fresh fish is readily available. It's a delightful and satisfying dish that showcases the natural flavors of the fish, enhanced by the rich blend of spices and the smokiness from the grilling process. If you have the opportunity to try Poisson Braise in Ivory Coast, it's a must-try dish that captures the essence of Ivorian street food culture and the country's love for grilled and flavorful cuisine. Brichettes. Grilled skewers of meat, usually beef, chicken, or fish, seasoned with spices and served with onions and tomatoes. Brichettes are a popular and delicious street food not only in Ivory Coast but also in many other countries in West Africa and beyond. Brichettes are essentially skewers of grilled meat, typically made with various types of meat such as beef, chicken, goat, pork, or fish. The meat is seasoned with a blend of spices and often marinated to enhance its flavor before being grilled. Here's how brichettes are typically prepared and enjoyed. Meat Selection the choice of meat for brochettes can vary depending on regional preferences and availability. Beef, chicken, and goat are commonly used, but some regions might use other meats like pork or fish. Cutting and marinating. The meat is cut into bite-sized pieces and then seasoned with a mixture of spices and sometimes a marinade. The marinade can include ingredients like garlic, ginger, onion, paprika, cayenne pepper, and other local spices, which infuse the meat with delicious flavors. Skewering and grilling. The marinated meat is then threaded onto skewers, often alternating with vegetables like onions, bell peppers, and tomatoes to add color and additional flavors. The skewers are then grilled over an open flame, charcoal, or on a barbecue until the meat is cooked to perfection. Serving. Once grilled, the brochettes are typically served hot and can be enjoyed on their own or with various accompaniments such as fried plantains, atiaki, fermented cassava couscous, or sauces like spicy pepper sauce. Brichettes are a popular street food in Ivory Coast, especially at outdoor markets, street stalls, and food gatherings. They are a convenient and delicious option for locals and visitors alike, providing a flavorful and satisfying meal on the go. The combination of tender and well-seasoned meat, along with the smoky and charred flavor from the grilling process, makes brichettes a favorite street food snack that captures the essence of Ivorian culinary culture. If you have the chance to try brichettes in Ivory Coast or other West African countries, they are definitely worth sampling to experience the rich and delightful flavors of this popular street food.